Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and I want to take this owl plant that I have, that I got as a transplant, from my, uh, from I guess the mother plant, it just popped up out of the soil, I ripped it out, and I put it in this little cup that I have, and I just put some uh, hydrogen around it, some clay pebbles, and I just fill it up with water when I see it's dry, maybe once every like two weeks or so, and as you see it's doing really good, when I first put it in here it was basically just this one piece, and a little tiny baby one starting to grow and now you can see there's it's nice and thick so it's doing really healthy and looking beautiful green color so it's not getting too much sun maybe like four hours of sunlight a day right by the window so it's doing really well and there's no soil in this thing it's literally just um, acting, acting like a Kratky system so I, I think it's about time to put it into a bigger system I'm gonna put it to a, this glass jar right here this is a quart size mason jar and I'm going to use this 3 inch neck cup that I'm going to fill it in with some clay pebbles also so let's see I haven't I haven't checked on the root system what it looks like since I first put it in the system maybe two months ago approximately so this is going to be the first time we're going to see what the roots look like so let's take a quick look has some like, pretty good weight to it. Wow, the roots are looking fantastic. When I first put this in here, it, on this one, the root grew literally into the the clay pebble right here. You can see. I'm just gonna when it's like that, you don't want to rip it off because you don't want to damage the roots. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. You can see this beautiful root system on this owl plant. Now this just popped out out of the soil, like I mentioned from the mother plant. So I just came in and I ripped it out. And it had no no roots on it at all. So I'm just gonna take this, basically put it into this three inch clay, this three inch um, neck cup, and we're gonna fill it back in with some clay pebbles. So let's just put that there. And I'm just gonna reuse the same ones because they're already pre moistened. So that's gonna be perfect. basically shake that to the center and try to position it to how you like where you think it looks best and fill it in a little bit more now I'll make it nice and tight so it has a good firm base you don't need to push the rock the clay pebbles around too much just kind of around the plant so it holds it in place and you can see there's a little gap right there so you want to try to close that in so the roots are, are definitely all covered up and there's no algae or anything growing like that so that's already set up right there you can see the roots a little bit right there at the bottom so that's just gonna grow in way more and we're gonna monitor this growth and I'll show you what it looks like in about a week or two. We'll be back soon for more. Well, actually, before we go, let me show you real quickly. The easiest way where to know how much water to fill is just take another net cup, put that inside, uh, take some water. Now I'm just going to be using regular water. I'm not going to use any hydroponic fertilizer for this since that's all I've been doing right over here and it's been doing really well. And I'm actually going to even put this in my grow system. So you start filling it up. And you want the water level to touch the bottom of the neck cup. It could even go a little bit higher, that's fine. So about right there. I may even do it a little bit more actually.
since this is a succulent, it's not going to absorb the, the water that fast. I want the root system to actually take off. So that looks like approximately a quarter of an inch, probably even less than that. And all we got to do now is just swap it out with the plant. So there we have it, that's what, the, that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to put that in my grow system over here and we'll see how it does. So we'll be back soon for more and I'll show you what the plant looks like soon. Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And it's been about five weeks since I put this owl plant into this hydroponic system. And this is a simple Kratky system like I showed you. And you can see that it drank about basically just that quarter. It's at the very bottom of the neck up. If I put the camera just down below, you can see it's just touching the bottom of the neck up. As well as you can see the root system has taken off and you can see some roots finally. Where, where is it? Let me spin this around. You can see some beautiful roots right here and in the background there too. Let's lift this up. You guys can get a little bit of a closer shot. Look at that, and I noticed the tip of the roots, they have like this little brown color for some reason. Not too sure, this is the first time I had owl plant in a hydroponic system. But uh, clay pebbles are nice and wet, that's fantastic. It's definitely keeping the root system nice and healthy. And you could see in just that short period of time, just these four or five weeks, five weeks actually, uh, the plant really has a huge growth spurt as well as these leaves are just so plump and filled with a ton of water, man. I have like an owl plant right here, right behind it, that's in just some soil, and it's nowhere near, it, although the leaves are definitely a lot bigger, it's nowhere near as plump as this, look at this thing. So it's, it's almost, I want to say round, but it has a little bit of a flush smoothness right over here, but you can see it's still nice and thick, man really really beautiful looking plant and you can see just how long this is well, I'm not sure exactly how long that probably a couple inches maybe like four or five inches something like that looking beautiful and this is just plain water there's no hydroponic fertilizer in this simple water I just poured in this thing and I didn't even put it in my green tent it's just been kind of the tent is usually kind of cracked open a little bit like this, so it's been getting just the residual light from the tent. And it's been growing really well, guys, so... Hydroponics is not just for fruits, vegetables, or greens. You could do houseplants, definitely. Give it a try, see how it goes. I use aloe all the time, so for me, this is great that it grows in the hydroponic system. It's definitely probably going to grow faster than it would in soil. I'm certain of that. As well as... It's doing really, really well. Excited to see the future growth of this plant. If you guys like the episode, please leave a comment down below. As always, I'm going to do my best to come back and reply to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back soon for more. Right before we go, I'm going to show you before and after. Thanks for watching.